Hey YouTube, so this video is actually going to be about how you can darken your hair without dyeing it, without um, adding chemicals or anything, just doing it the natural way. Um, and it is with coffee, and I know people, um, that's like the famous way to do it, I don't know. But um, I actually got this recipe from the Seventeen magazine, like a really old one here, like I have right here. It's super old, I don't know if you guys recognize it, but this one. Um, I've done it before and it worked so well, so I thought, why not share it? Um, it says... This is what the Seventeen magazine article says. Coffee intensifies darker shades to make this hair really shine. Soak your hair with this rin rinse for rich dimensional co color. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just brew some non-flavored coffee, just the least fancy kind you can. You can go um, get like cheap brand, whatever. Um, so I brewed mine, this is mine, and you want to completely let it cool, it's really important because you don't want to be putting hot coffee all over your head, that would be terrible. Um, and so then what you're going to do is, you want to put it in something that would be easy for you to pour on your hair. So I'm going to be using this container, um, it's really easy because it just has a little like squirt thing, it's just easy to use. So I'm just going to pour that in here. So this is my coffee, it looks kind of weird, but yes. Um, the amount is really up to you. It's how much hair you have. I have really long, thick hair, so, um, and this is probably going to, it just kind of depends. If you really want to make sure your hair gets darker, why not just soak it in as much as you can, um, is what I would say. Okay, so before you even touch the coffee, you want to make sure that you put on a shirt that can get coffee stained. So I'm just using this old shirt. Um, actually, this is actually the shirt I used to, when I dyed my hair from home with like the boxes. This is the shirt I use, and it's super stained, but that was like a year ago. But anyways, I'm just going to wear... Sorry. <laughs> so, so I'm just going to wear this shirt again. Creepy eyes. Okay, so you're going to be using dry hair for the rinse. Like, you're not going to start out with wet hair. So this is my, a lot of my hair. <laughs> See, I have a lot of hair. Yes, I do. Okay, so this part, so this next part can be really tricky. So the first time I did it, my mom actually helped me. You want to make sure that you find a good place to set up. So whether like you put, you know, like kind of like where you, when you get your hair washed, um, if you get a haircut or something, and you kind of like rest your head like over the sink or you can do it over your bathtub or over your shower, whatever works. Um, and then you just pour the coffee through it and you want to make sure that the drain gets all the coffee bit. All the, the coffee liquid um, and can I just say that it's way easier to do this with a friend pouring it on or your mom mom or your dad or your brother or sister or whoever um, to actually pour it in because it's really hard to like do it yourself but you can totally do it yourself if you want so I'm not actually doing it but if I were to do it and let's say I had the coffee in my hair um, first off you want to make sure while you're still in the sink you want to make sure you um, you know just like wring out the coffee with your hands and take an old rag just like this one and kind of towel dry because coffee will get everywhere and kind of spray. And then what you're going to do is you're going to comb through your hair. Okay, and so then what you're going to want to do is comb through the coffee rinsed hair with uh, just a comb. I'm using a broken wide tooth comb. Um, and you're just going to comb, comb through it all the way through just to evenly spread the coffee throughout your hair. And then what you're going to do is then you're going to take your hair and you want to be really careful with it at this point because while you're spraying it coffee is going to be going everywhere so then what you're going to do is you're going to put on a shower cap and let the um sorry my dog is barking look really cute you're going to a little shower cap yay shower cap. okay so after you have your shower cap on you want it to let the coffee sit um, 17 magazine recipe recommends 20, 20 to 30 minutes. I did it for 30 just because I wanted to make sure that the coffee soaked in my hair long enough. Um, so after you wait for 30 minutes, then you are going to, I'm still talking with my shower cap on, after you wait for 30 minutes, you're going to rinse it off um, in the shower, you shampoo your hair. Um, sometimes there might be little like grits from the co coffee grinds still, like because from, like when I did, there were coffee grinds in my hair, but they just like washed out like after the second wash, like the second time I washed my hair, so it was totally fine. Um, your hair might smell like coffee, but I don't really mind it. I didn't think it was that bad, and it'll wash out like in a couple washes. So, so yeah, after you're done, take off your shower cap, wash your hair, just hop in the shower, um, rinse it out, dry it, and voila! So that was what worked for me. That's how exactly how I did it, and it worked wonders for me. I even got people coming up to me like, "Well, your hair looks darker," like, or they're like, "Your hair looks different," and 
like numerous people like even boys came up to me and said something and that's when the boys notice your hair is different then I think the sign that it actually is different um so yeah um I just want to say that um this works best for already brown hair so if you already have brown shades in your hair it's going to take that color and make it even deeper and darker um I had a friend who tried to do it with her when she, she has blonde hair and she tried to do it and it didn't work for her so I mean, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not saying, like, don't do it if you have blonde hair, but go ahead and try it. I don't know if it'll work, but let me know if it works or if it doesn't work. I would be happy to know. Um, it's really great because after summertime, you know, your, your hair has been exposed to a lot of sun. And I know for me, like, I get a lot of blonde highlights in my hair. Like, that. Just the sun just does that, and I hate them. And I, don't, I probably, I don't know why I hate them. My mom gets really mad at me why I, like, try and get rid of them, but I hate them. So I love, so this is a great time to do it. Um, especially now if you want your hair darker for fall or whatever. Um, yeah, and this is really great. It's just going to fade away. It's more like a stain, I would say. Like, it's not going to, you know, permanent hair color where it, as your hair grows out, there's like a, you know, your, your, your roots will show. But this is more just going to fade and your color is just going to change over time. Um, so, yeah, I would say this is a really good thing to do if you want to, you know, experiment with darker hair, but you don't want to go all the way and dye it, and it's just a really great idea to do. So, okay, um, please subscribe and comment and write, and if you try it, please let me know how it worked for you, or if it didn't work, and I want to know about it. Um, alright, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!